Hello and welcome to another Vlogmas. So today we're actually staying at this amazing barn conversion in the Cotswolds. It's in Upper Slaughter. Is it Upper Slaughter? Upper Slaughter, yeah. Upper Slaughter. And yeah, we've already had a tour from our wonderful host, James, who was really nice. And I thought we would show you around. We were actually here with Unique Homestays who let out this place. Yeah. Is that what you'd say? I think they're the only people that do it. It's only been visited by, I think, five people, did he yeah, say? Yeah, I think he said we were the fifth. Yeah, really new and it's so nice. So we wanted to give you a full tour, but you can kind of see how it looks now. I'm going to show you the exterior probably at the start of the video, so you'll have already seen that. And it's basically a completely converted barn that they purchased the, the owners in 2019, I think he said. Is that right? I think so. Yeah, I think 2019. And they lived here for a couple of years throughout COVID. And then last year, decided to just renovate all of this. They said it was kind of falling down, maybe a year or two Yeah, they ago. lived in the other house, not in here. They didn't live in here, sorry. There's two houses, <laughs> didn't make that clear. But yeah, they weren't sure whether to use this as a gym, as a garage, and they decided to do it as a space for friends, for like family visiting and stuff, and now a holiday rental, which is really nice. And I love hearing more of like the story of people when they own something. It obviously feels very different to like a hotel when it's kind of organized by a company, but a lot of the pieces are from the couple who lives here, live here's old apartment in London. I think they saw home in London. And it's a really nice blend of like Cotswold. Yeah, with a bit of modern. Country, and, yeah. but then with like some modern, quite cool pieces as well that feel more like mid-century or yeah, it's really cool. So I will show you around now. Sorry, I won't ramble on the whole time, but <laughs> this is the living room. I'll do a few cutaways as well so you can see it slightly differently, but it's a really, really big space. Yeah, isn't it? I like, don't know if it comes across so big on camera, but it is big. Yeah, really nice space. And again, kind of like we were saying, the, the structure of the building, if you can hear me, hopefully it's not too echoey, but is just like beautiful Cotswold stone. It's yeah. really well kind of restored considering they said it was falling down I imagine they did a lot of work to make yeah. it look like this and a lot of visits to kind of stone yards yes but yeah it's so beautiful there's an amazing huge log burner here obviously a big sofa which I mean this sofa we were already testing weren't we it yeah it's really big <laughs> test it for everyone you <laughs> can fit six people comfortably like for like games night yeah. drinks there's a couple of armchairs I love this chair. Mikey's not so keen. It's as very me. comfy. The chair in the corner I really love. I think that's just really cool. I know it's not really a style that you'd imagine from me. I think, yeah. People, but yeah, I really love it. And then on the other side of the room, let me just actually put it down again, but I'll show you it up and then I'll put it yeah. down. But there's this unit which is painted. It's almost like kind of like, like a home green yeah. state or like olive yellowy colour and the TV you can see it comes in a very bit. bougie. Yeah which is very love cool. that. Such a nice way of like hiding your things. <laughs> Not that you have met anything other than the TV in there but yeah really lovely and we haven't actually watched anything yet because we had a really chilled evening last night but I will put up a couple of vlogs probably tomorrow and the next day where we show you how we're spending our time in the Cotswolds going to lots of nice shops and restaurants and stuff but yeah let's carry on <laughs> this obviously the table in the kind of entrance if you step back a bit you can probably see it a lot better but it's very again like the kind of like Dalesford yeah, like rustic. Rustic. I know that's such a dirty word in interiors. <laughs> rustic, but... It is, it literally is yeah, rustic. Yeah, it's like an antique, I would imagine, unless it's yeah. fake. I don't think it would be. And then these like tin lamps as well I really like. And also, the thing that's so nice about this house is all of the lighting is on circuits, like the lamps Yeah, and it's stuff. really good. I would love to do that at home but that would be so difficult for us because I have to move things quite yeah. a lot work, so it would be very annoying to be like moving lamps around but if you're renovating and you're looking to add quite a luxury touch I would definitely recommend kind of having all of your lights on mm, a circuit definitely. because 
there's a switch over there. I'll do a little cutaway so you can see, but it has kind of laminated cards to show to do the mezzanine lights or the living room lights or different areas, which I think is really nice. Yeah. And the other kind of side, that's the living area, which is lovely. And then you have these kind of big, the big wall of crystal doors. Above is the mezzanine, which we'll get to in a second. But down here, there's these large kind of industrial crystal doors, which again, we all know is a very nice complement to like old stone that's like done a lot in design. But it also goes really well, I think, with this concrete floor. Yeah, it's nice. Which is really nice. That's kind of, the guy said they were going to use this as a garage, but by the time they'd laid the concrete floor, they just thought, it seems silly to waste. You don't want to drive all your cars all over it. Yeah, you don't want to ruin a really nice polished concrete because it actually is very expensive to do that. But yeah, so here's the bedroom. So these doors both open up. Shall I shut this one? <laughs> so you can there see I am. through. <laughs> Yeah, here's the bedroom. It's Which is so room. nice. Yeah, really moody. The bed as well, so comfortable. We mm. arrived last night, it was just so, so comfortable. Again, it has the stone wall, really, really lovely. Sorry about any of our like trainers and stuff as well, but lying around. And then, should I try and turn? There we go. Ignore some of our toiletries, but here is the bathroom. It's got these tiles. Are they, are they Burton May? I don't know. I think they're Burton May tiles. I think I read online when I was looking. All of the products as well. The Aesop. They really love things like these details. We've stayed in some such nice places recently, haven't we? Really nice. I love this kind of detail of the, again, the, the like really used farmhouse sink and it's a bit like battered, but I think it adds so much texture yeah. and kind of the same way as the like reclaimed wood walls, the panels, I think it's so cool. Everything just feels very considered and the person who owns it or people designed the property themselves, so they did a very good job at that. And there's a shower, so again, these sort of products and I really love that kind of half. Yeah, it's so cute. Right? Yeah, I know I said this before when we were at the cottage that we were staying in a few weeks ago, but I love coming to places that aren't necessarily your normal design yeah, style. Yeah, it's nice to get inspiration. Yeah, it's really nice to come somewhere, like this for example, even though there are obviously certain like homeware pieces that maybe I wouldn't have in our house, I think they've done it perfectly. Yeah. Like I wouldn't change anything about this, I think it works so well and it gives you so many ideas for your house as well, coming to like luxury staycations, yeah. like the wood in here for example, I would absolutely do this and I, I would never yeah, have thought. It's so nice because it's like so rough textured and, and also the warmth of it it adds mm. such a warmth to the rest of the room yeah and it feels like perfect for a barn yeah so nice and yeah we've said already before obviously a barn is something we actually would really be open to so yeah and the critter as well the log burner did i talk about the log burner i think uh, so but i think so it looks literally amazing get some cutter you can see it through there it just looks so pretty yeah so nice. Yeah. Oh, and the Christmas tree. I've obviously yeah. got a Christmas tree, which is so nice. And then? And then, there's some stairs up here. Sorry, it's a bit dark in this part, but that again is old properties for you. Yeah, we know it. <sighs> this is so nice. I love it up here. The yeah, ceiling. this is so pretty. Oak ceiling. If you're looking for a Cotswold staycation, and you want somewhere that feels like home from home, but just better. This is <laughs> the place to stay, honestly. Yeah. Like, the, everything here is from like the shops that you would love. Like, they leave like Dalesford bread and eggs. There's a bottle of wine there as well. Lemons, lime, like everything you could want. It's like a really yeah. lovely kitchen, amazing coffee machine. It doesn't feel like slapdash. You no. know, some places you go do feel like Again, it's kind of just been churned out. This yeah. feels so lovingly curated. Yeah, it Even feels like they were doing it for themselves and yeah. then decided to rent it out. Which I think is what happened. Like, all of these things, like the crockery, the bowls, everything is handmade and yeah. just really lovely. So, oh my god, it's so nice behind you. Thumbnail. Behind this thing, it's beautiful. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, like the ceilings as well, the oak ceilings. And then these yeah, seagrass so cool. lights. 
so pretty so nice yeah i definitely i'll leave everything linked down below so if you do want to book a weekend away definitely check it out and james who we spoke with was so nice as well and yeah and unique homestays i mean we haven't have we stayed at other unique homestays? no but the We've been looking to do it for ages. Absolutely ages, but they have, if you look at their website, they have a really great selection of places in loads of different areas. But yeah. The Cotswolds, if you're into in particular, they've got loads of places. This is obviously ideal for a couple. So yeah. if it's you and a partner or a friend, this is perfect, but- They do have you, big ones. They have bigger ones if you wanted something with a family or a group of you because yeah, yeah, this would be so nice to do, wouldn't it, with like so nice, yeah. friends and the things nearby as well. Like, I think we're about like 10 minutes from Dalesford. Yeah, we're so close. We went to Restoration Hardware today, which yeah. is lovely. That will be a vlog or there may yeah. already be one. I think it's after this. <laughs> yeah, and just like perfect, long country walks. But mm. Yeah, in the kitchen, I've obviously already said, but that's everything you could want. There's yeah, the and everything is so cool. Yeah, the appliances are really nice. This is the Neff. I've actually used this in clients' houses before. The Neff extractor, which is really lovely. And then obviously the oven and your hob. So just like everything you could want. This little yeah. worker's bench in front of where I'm standing, which again, it's great just for like prepping. Yeah, just and it so looks pretty nice. too. Yeah, it looks pretty as well. And then you have to come under the beam. <laughs> which I actually really like quirks like that and this side we were actually doing some work this morning hence the laptops um, there's a dining table perfect for to be fair you could there's five seats around that but you could easily probably squeeze eight yeah if you wanted if you to think, like, if you all went closer together yeah you could definitely fit people around which is very nice if you maybe you rented this and you had some friends in hotels nearby. Yeah. You'd be able to host like some dinner and cook for some people, which would be really lovely. And I'm sure James and the owners wouldn't have a problem with that at all. Um, yeah, just so lovely. Then in here, there's lots of storage. And I know because I've already got them, there's wine glasses in, is that one? Oh no, that was the toaster. That was candles. Things like that, you know, touches when you're not in and like they let you have a candle. Yeah. So it was here, it was the like plates and glasses and stuff. So champagne glasses, there were white wine, red wine, just like every detail. Everything you could want. And it feels that I think is the most important thing. It feels like very luxurious. Yeah. Like, honestly, not just saying this, I would obviously keep a lot of the things, but I could move in here now. Just yeah, like so nice. bring our like sofa dining table. Yeah. Just be like, we're moving in. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. The stone, the seat, you like, I don't know. I'm not going to keep rambling on about <laughs> it because I do know I talk a lot, but we'll definitely be looking to come back here. Yeah, 100%. Like, 100%. So nice. And then the final thing I wanted to show you is actually the garden, which is back under the beam. The garden is, this I think is the nicest part. It's so pretty. It's going to be very cold. It's actually yeah. minus four or five today, so very chilly. Anyone watching overseas in the sun, I envy you. But yeah, there's a really pretty greenhouse over there. Like a pizza oven. Pizza oven with a place to sit and eat. And then over here, there's like a really lovely, like canopied dining area with festoon lighting going all the way down to it. And then just below us, there's a lovely little fire pit which you can light as well. So cute. Which is so nice. Yeah, perfect for like winter, summer. Yeah, and it's just winter, so pretty. spring, summer and fall. <laughs> All you gotta do is come. Right, let's get lucky and it's freezing. <laughs> Wanna go and sit by the fire now? <laughs> anyway, I will leave the video there. I just wanted to give you a tour of where we're staying and tell you a bit more about unique homestays, but it's... Yeah, so lovely to be here. We're very grateful to be staying and we will see you tomorrow, hopefully. Yeah. Have a lovely evening. It's time for a glass of wine. Time for a glass of wine and... Game of cards by the game fire. game of cards and maybe some chocolates in front of the fire. Yeah, like you're thinking. <laughs> yeah. See you later. Bye. <laughs>